What is going on guys, Static Leo here and I am back with another video. So I know that it's been a while, but we've been so busy working, enjoying some days off, you know, some days off the camera. It is very much needed sometimes, but here we are back on it. Check it out. We got some processing on the shop. We got the floor all taken out and this place looks a lot better, a lot bigger just by getting rid of that old tile. So what we are going to be doing right here is some shiny concrete. We're going to do that shop look, shop floor look everywhere all around the shop here we have our office desk for now we're right here improvising <laughs> this place might look like a big mess right now guys but you gotta trust the process wait until you guys see this vision come to life uh this place is gonna look amazing so a lot more upgrades coming to the shop right now we gotta trust the process be patient and once this place is done it's gonna be crazy let's go see what's going on outside got the shop all cleaned up today we got some stuff from inside right here we're gonna be putting that in real soon here we got the coyote it is still injured. I already got my new windshield. Uh, it was very pricey because it has cameras and sensors and stuff. But I got my new windshield straight from the dealership. Only thing we're waiting on is a cow hood to come in. So that one should be in real soon. Right here we got the brand new Sierra. Pulled this thing out yesterday for a little spin for Father's Day. I don't really move it, but yesterday we were creeping it for a little bit. This thing is nasty. And then over here we have my little sister's truck, SS clone back there, OBS, we got another OBS, but you guys are going to have to wait for the next video to find out what's up with that one. We got my brother's back truck, and we got the boys out here washing the floor, it was all dusty from the construction, so we're going to get everything all cleaned up. Yes, sir. And then over here, we got something, something very nice that I got to show you guys. You guys probably been seeing it all over my Instagram already, but I have not made a vlog on it. This is the first look we take at my bag that says clone back from the paint shop. We got it right here hooked up with Mega Man. Hey, I'll check this thing out. Man, this thing is wet. Look like a whole different truck, guys. My boy Nico definitely got down with the paint job. We took it out to Freddy's show this weekend, along with my brother's truck. We took the back bumps out. And this thing came out wet. You guys can see all the flakes. I went with the smooth tailgate. I think it looks a lot cleaner since it's a show truck. We don't need no wing, we don't need nothing. Just make it smooth. Throw in one of my boy Breezy's decals, Swallow Mob. Thing looks clean but i get all guys let me know what y'all think down below right now we're gonna unload it creep it around for y'all this thing is nasty we were out there at freddy's show this weekend me and my brother put out the back truck We had a really good time so big shout out to my boy freddy for inviting us i haven't worked on this truck at all i bought this truck like six months ago you guys remember it was a baby blue one for those of you that don't remember or forgot this is the same truck the one that was baby blue and i didn't really like that color so that color had to go and uh we finally got it back so it's time to start working on the little stuff like the lug nuts and all that it is missing some lug nuts and we got to change the studs i want to change the studs all around uh, start fixing all the little stuff on the truck. We also got the gaps fixed right here. Got the gaps closed. Man, this thing is killer. little cold star right now we're gonna lift it that way we can unload it this thing sounds good
I'm sorry guys, but I cannot stop looking at this thing. That color just hits in the sun. It pops. So there it is with this new paint job. You guys know I had to give my own touch to it. A lot of guys were saying bought not built. But there it is. Adding my touches to it. Anytime we get anything, no matter what it looks like, we're always going to add our touches to it. And we're just going to make it a lot better. Just like the old days, right? Hell yeah. Cagando palo. Hood red shit. Look at the shirt though. I love hot moms. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name on Damn, what you got over here? Uh, they're like my boyfriend. He said cock out of twin turbos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it looks clean. I already got this. Uh, I already got another intake. I'm getting the, I'm getting the bottom chrome and the top going to be polished to match with it. And then the hood with the cutouts. And then the hood. But I'm, I'm gonna get the fiberglass one. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna cut the OEM. Good. So I can get the cow hood for mine. Yeah. I'm the cow hood that you had on this one. Yeah, we're gonna do that. It'd be better. It'd be easier because uh, with the hood it has like three layers. Yeah. So in the fiberglass it have one layer, so it'll be better. Damn, I like the teardrop. Clean. Clean setup. My SS will be out there soon with the little turbo. Oh yeah. A little single turbo action. Yeah, but with that little turbo, I was already feeling. Yeah, we're gonna get on this one already because we need to take it to the Vayuco Throwdown Bayuco. so we can blow the engine because we didn't blow it at shootout so we gotta blow it. Yeah, I don't right think there. it'll blow that motor. I got that motor built right strong. Yeah, I mean it's hard to blow NA but when you have turbos and nitrous and shit like that that's when you start blowing it but I mean NA should be good. So this motor is pretty good. The only thing that happened was the power steering. I think one of the line mangueras uh, it blew and caught the header and that was it. It ignited it. Yep. But it's an easy fix. We're gonna get it fixed already. So we're taking it to the valley. Mira que agarra el palo. You're not going to the valley? We'll see. Uh, take that one so we can get in the donut pit together. Y'all comment down below. Everybody tell Ruben to go so he can go. I mean, if there's enough, then we'll go. Yeah. And we could take that one. You could take this one too, no? Just just to show it? Uh, it's going to be in the shop. Okay. By then, it'll be in the shop because I'm doing the training, trans brake, the Well, they could check out the Ford. And this one. And then we're gonna take the TBSS. Put it in the donut pit. Shred some tires. We still got some tires left from last time. <laughs> yeah, one more good one out. Make sure I catch the TBSS of Ayuko Throwdown this July 9th in the Valley, Texas. With my boy Ruben. We're gonna convince him to go. Y'all comment down below so he can go. But we're most definitely gonna be out there. We're gonna get down. Let's get it. We got the boys over here getting the merch ready for the valley show. 
Hell yeah, Valley Crew. Y'all ready or what? Two weeks is going down. We're getting all the merch ready right now. Getting ready to go. Man, it's gonna be lit. Just another day at the shop, guys. You know how it goes. We're gonna get that TBSS ready though for show. Get Mega Man ready for the Valley. Get my bag truck ready. Fix all the small details. And right, I'm gonna show you guys the engine bay and the interior. Talk about what we're gonna be doing to that because I didn't show you guys yesterday. Here we have the Mamalona posted up in the shop. This thing is just a beauty. Here we have it. I have it tooted. <laughs> this thing is wet. So let's talk about the interior first. This is the interior the truck came with. Um, I think that right now it matches a lot more with the new color. This peanut butter goes a lot more with this color than with the blue. So I don't know, I want to change the color up. What I want to do, I just want to touch up the interior, get the little plastics that you know are like broken like this, get them all fixed, get a brand new carpet. The carpet, I am going to run it the same color and then uh, get all this little stuff fixed right here. We have mismatching parts. Probably the previous color that I had. It does have a titty panel with a sound system. It has these two tents get all that deleted so basically just touch up the interior i really love the color that it has though like i said goes a lot with the outside i'm also going to be adding some red stitching so it can stand out a little bit more so we're going to be getting the seats redone do another pattern get the center console redone with some red stitching and i think it'll really pop right here we're missing some plastics i gotta get those taken care of and then we got the steering wheel. I really like that steering wheel, so the steering wheel is going to be staying. Also, my boy PI Clusters changed our cluster on spot at Freddy LSX Show. So, big shout out to my boy PI Clusters. This used to be white and blue because the truck was blue. Now it is red because the truck's red, of course. And then it came with a little radio. This one's coming out as well. Here we got the center console with our airlift. Everything's going to get touched up on the inside. And it's gonna look a lot better. So let me pop the hood for y'all. Give you a little look of the front end. I really love the way the front end came out. We went with the silver accents. Got a polished bow tie. Fun fact, this bow tie, I've been having it for like two years for the OG. Cause I was like, the day that I paint the truck, I'm gonna put it on. And we had to put it on this one cause the OG never came out. So I'm gonna have to order another one for the OG. I got some brand new headlights. So I don't know what happened right here. It got wet. I'm gonna get that fixed reseal them got the cow hood it's super nice as well and i just love the way the front end just all ties in the truck just flows the accents are right all the color matching is right i feel like the truck is just on point let's pop the hood you guys can see the flakes right here on the handle nice flakes Beautiful, beautiful truck. We got down with this one, definitely. Open the hood. And here we're in for another surprise. Check that out. We got our tubs all painted, engine bay all painted, all of our mortar pieces color matched. I'm gonna be getting some new headers. Those are some old headers. We got all this painted, everything color matched so i'm going to be touching up the engine bay changing the headers changing little things here and there you know things that need to be changed and we're going to be restoring it so that's what the engine bay is looking like we got everything painted 
Up here, I'm gonna be putting the heat shield cover. That way it can cover up all those holes as well. And yeah, that's what the engine bay looks like. Pretty damn neat. Did a wiper delete, of course. We don't need wipers on this truck. Y'all stay tuned, guys. There's a lot more upgrades coming to this truck. Like I said, I just got it like six months ago. I bought it and it went straight to the paint shop. I haven't even messed with it, really. We're going to get all the little details sorted, everything fixed. And this thing's going to be one killer show truck when we're done with it. Uh, I want to get some big brakes on it. Same color as the truck. I want to do a sunroof. All right, now I'm just going to start with the little details. We got to change the studs because it's missing, I think, like two or three on each wheel. Um, so we got to get that fixed ASAP. That really bothers me a lot. Little things like that that I know that are there got to get taken care of. We're going to get ready for the Bayuco Throwdown Show. It's going to be going down July 9th. I'm going to be taking Mega Man out there pulling this one. And then I'm going to have my boy pull my TBSS. You guys are probably wondering what happened with Mega Man. Why is it still here? We got some very big news. Mega Man is actually going to be staying with us. The winner chose the cash at the end. So we got the cash sent to him. He didn't have a chance to come down here. Uh, he's about to have a baby and also he has a business he said so he's gonna put that money into the business take care of his family and all that which is a very good idea so mega man is gonna be staying with us we're gonna do a lot more upgrades to it we're gonna get that one ready for the valley next week we're gonna be dropping it off at the paint shop that way they can recolor match the front end recolor match some little things here and there normal wear and um, make sure you guys come catch mega man at Vayuco throwdown along with the bag that says clone Everything's gonna be out there and we're gonna get everything on point for y'all so y'all can come check them out I'm gonna be ending the vlog right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it Like I said, I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but we are gonna get back on it We got a lot of videos on the way a lot of stuff that's coming on the way So make sure you guys stay tuned hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out of any of our videos Y'all stay tuned for the builds. There's a lot coming. Thanks a lot for watching Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace Bye.